Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. And in today's episode, we're going to be continuing on with our VGC 2021 Battle Series content. And just to give you a quick overview of the team that we'll be featuring today. So over this past weekend, I'm sure a lot of you already know about this, but VGC France held a big online tournament. It was the Hexa Cup. And you can see the results right here. They tweeted them out earlier on. And uh, Van der Heiden was the player that actually won this entire event and he's been super kind enough to share his rental team so if you hop over to his twitter and all these socials will be linked down in the description below as well as a link directly to the poker paste but you can see his handle is at bars cars vgc so here we go um i just won the vgc france hexa cup super happy with the results and the games i got to play thanks a lot for hosting this is the team i use so here we go you can see the team it's a really nice team as well featuring spectra uh, Urshifu, but the um, Surging Strikes variant, the water fighting type, which is really nice to see because the dark fighting is probably the more predominant in the format at the minute, but making up a really nice firewater grass core with the, uh, the Rillaboom and the Incineroar. Red Jaleki as well, and then the Clefairy. So as I say, we're going to feature this team today. It is the winning team from this past weekend. So it's going to be a lot of fun featuring it in today's episode. It is up on your screen now. There is a rental code, and as always, the rental will be down in the description as as well so i hope if you do try it out yourselves you uh you enjoy this team we are about to borrow it and we'll jump straight online and try and find our first opponent so we've got a first opponent in the episode playing a team of venusaur tokol urshifu nyligo uh incineroar and porygon 2 uh this is quite a popular team at the minute kind of the sun mode is becoming a little bit more popular so you've seen a lot more of it on the ladder um as you've as we saw in series five it was it was very very dominant uh with the chlorophyll ability on the venusaur and just generally good max moves to kind of benefit from that you've got a trick room mod which will be supported on the the p2 potentially on the nyligo as well um i'd imagine it's probably surgeon strike uh the the water rapid strike urshifu maybe the dark variant but uh maybe not as well so <sighs> okay well we can utilize regieleki here for sure um just to help us with a little bit of speed control if we want um and if we do see the torco come out i mean it's not bad option to have electro web on it Incineroar, nice option as well, um, without having to max. The other thing we go Spectria and let's go Urshifu in the last slot as well, because Trick Room and the P2 are definite options that could come out here for my opponent. I don't feel like this is a, a, a good match for Rillaboom in particular, so it makes sense to bench it. Maybe Clefairy could have been used here uh, to some degree especially against something like the Venusaur, where we could maybe kind of pin pin the Venusaur in with, with Incineroar, uh, especially if the sun's up. Uh, but we are just going to see P2 and... Now, my opponent has a couple of options here. They can either Trick Room with P2, switch into Torko with Venusaur, take a potential flare bits coming out, or they can switch the P2 into Torko. Um and try and put us to sleep. But do they really want to do that? I don't know. I feel like that's not probably the best player for them to go for. Um, okay. I think we go Electro Ball. What? Oh, we could go Volt Switch, but then Volt Switching in and getting like Spectre or something onto the field and taking a bunch of damage is not really super necessary. I think just Electro Ball here. Uh, we could go for the Electro Ball Assurance combination, get rid of the P2. But I, I really can't afford to leave the Venusaur and check, so I'm just going to fire off Flare Blitz into that slot. And we are going to see the Trick Room and Torkoal uh, Trick Room combination, I think. Oh, it's Nyligo. I mean, Nyligo is not going to come in and really appreciate taking a Flare Blitz. It's still going to take a bunch of damage from it. And the Electro Ball doing decent damage there. And I think we're going to see the Trick Room, in all honesty. Uh, yeah, well, another Flare Blitz will be able to take it down, but we do have close combat as well that we can, we can take advantage of. It's just a try attack. Huh, okay. And that's into Reggie Lecky doing decent damage there. Now we are locked into... Um, you know what might be a nice option? Honestly, just get rid of the Nihiligo here and go max. It seems like a super big waste of a max. Can we? Because we can't... I don't think Electro Ball will get 
deny legal. Um, but I think, yeah, what we'll do is go Max Lightning into Nilego and I'm going to switch into Spectre from Incineroar. And then the fact that we can get rid of the Nilego now and get the Electric Terrain on the field and make ourselves immune to any sort of Sleep Powder going forward from the Venusaur uh, definitely helps us out a bunch. And hopefully we just see another try attack here but it may be into it may be into Regieleki again uh, which would make sense unless we do see a trick room are you kidding are you kidding are you kidding are you actually kidding I'll let switch okay here we go um well we'll get some nice damage onto the, the p2 so that'll be in range for the next turn which will also mean the Nilego is so if we if we lose Spectre here which we're likely to. Um, then at least Regieleki's in a good position to pick up a knockout with Incineroar fake out support next to it. But we may see the Nihiligo go into Regieleki here. You never know. But it's likely going to go, yeah, into the Spectre, I think. Yep. And there's no chance of us taking that. But it means it does mean that we still get to preserve our Incineroar, which is the main thing. That's what we want. There's a beast boost going into special attack. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and yeah, we've got Incineroar to come in now. So I think what we'll do is we'll target down the P2. And we will fake out the Nihiligo. Because with the electric train up, we're not in any sort of... Um, what's our strongest... Um, it's going to be, I think it is, I think it is what we just went for. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that and we'll fake out the Nihiligo. Like we said, I'm just checking which is like the strongest electric type attack onto us. I think we can actually check that by going into the, the status screen. There's a protect yet. Yeah. Um, they're probably going to try and I don't know, maneuver, maybe maneuver, um, Venus onto the field with the sun up potentially. But I mean, the Nihiligo goes down the next turn. And if we see Torkoal come in, we've got to, we've got, we've got to kind of pin down the Nihiligo with that special attack boost. It's just too dangerous to kind of let loose, really. Um, and Venusaur coming back in. Okay, it's fine. I mean, Venusaur probably going to max this next turn. But with the Assault Fest, we should, we should take that. We'll go for Max Lightning into that slot. And we'll go for the Flare Blitz into Venusaur. Now, if the sun comes in on the Torkoal here, then we'll guarantee to get the, the Venusaur. Uh, but it's probably going to max quick into Regieleki here, I, I'd imagine. And no switch into Torkoal, so it means that Nihiligo is going to go down. And we're probably going to see the, the Torkoal come in the following turn. Unless my opponent makes probably the better choice here and targets Incineroar with the, the Max Quake to put it in range the following to Oh, okay. That's kind of better for us, you know. That is way better for us. This will take down Nihiligo. And then it opens the door for Torkoal to come in. Now, this makes it more dangerous for my opponent. Now, I'm not sure they're aware Incineroar has got the Assault Vest, but we should 100% take a Max Quake <laughs> um, oh, it's Incineroar. Ha. Huh. Okay, that, that changes things. That changes things. Um, all right. Well, we need to preserve our Incineroar. That's the, that's the, that's the big key here. Um, okay. We've got Urshifu in the back. Can we... I don't think Electro Web's really... Mm, it could be handy, actually. Can we lock into it now? We can only go Electro Ball. Okay, let's go for that. And let's switch out into Urshifu. We need to preserve our uh, Incineroar here. If we get faked out, uh, Max Quaked, it's going to be no good for us. Um, now, they may fake out Reggie Alecki, but I feel like you want to probably protect your Venusaur a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense going into Urshifu. Uh, so we'll get the Electro Ball. And it means that at least if Reggie Elect... Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that. 
Okay, well, this is fine. Um, and they've got one more turn of their max left, which means Incineroar can come onto the field now. Um, and pff, between, between Urshifu and Incineroar, are we going to be able to do it? Maybe, maybe, I don't know. What's Urshifu got? It's going to be close combat jobby, isn't it? Yeah, close combat and flare blitz. And we got to hope that that's going to be enough at least for then Urshifu to close combat pick up the knockout the next turn. Uh, it's it's not going to be enough. I don't think it's going to be enough. Not without the sun. Not without the sun. Um, okay. At least we know Venusaur's not life orbed as well. So we should take this. So there's a close combat. Yep. It's just whether or not the G-Max Vine Nash recoil doesn't stack up for us to... Uh, actually get taken down by the recoil so oh no nah, we take that like a champ the recoil from flare blitz though that's the that's the big issue here so it's just whether or not we can do enough there we go there we go there you get that that more offensive incineral no worries no trouble at all so very good game to my opponent and uh we pick up a win there yeah, the recoil there, we were done. So if that came close, I mean, we did have Urshifu for the next turn. So without the Sun support, Venusaur, we, we were kind of in an all right position. We just needed the, the Flare Blitz to do enough, which it did. Okay, so we got an next opponent up playing a team of Dragonite, Comfy, Heatran, Sableye, Ferrothorn, and Regieleki. So we've got that Dragonite, Comfy team. We kind of featured a similar team, well, with the Dragonite, Comfy last week on the channel. Um... And it was a lot of fun and really surprised by the Dragonite and how powerful it is. So something not to be underestimated. I like the combination with the Heatran here. They've got nice synergy between the two. Got a lot of disruption as well, like the Sableye with Fake Out, Quash. Uh, amongst a list of other moves that are just going to be very annoying to play against. As well as a Comfy as well with that kind of floral healing support. It makes it very difficult to kind of get momentum against a team like this. And you've got Regieleki kind of being that really fast pivot as well. So the weakness policy proc on the Dragonite is going to be very awkward to play against. Okay, let's go for Clefairy. Uh, is Clefairy going to be that great here? I don't know. I mean, the fake out support's going to be nice. I mean, Electro Ball Regieleki with Spectre is probably a nice option. Incineroar in the back, and I think we'll round things off with Urshifu. Yeah, let's go for that. And we got the Sash on Urshifu, so we've got a little bit of security in case the Comfy is still out on the field in an end game situation where it's got that draining kiss. So uh, we don't need to worry about it getting knocked out cleanly in that situation, and also against the Dragonite as well, because it has got those flying type stabs that are going to be uh, quite threatening to it. And it, it's going to be its main thing to do is get those airstreams up so it outspeeds everything on the field um and you've got to be aware as well that comfy does have that trick room switch that it can utilize so um it's going to be a little bit dangerous for sure so we'll get regieleki out on the field now do we want to vault switch maybe into incineral i think it'd probably be a nice option and then we can at least mitigate the dragonite's ability to um only hit us like plus one rather than plus two so i think we will vault switch out the other option is to get rid of the comfy early on like we could just get rid of the comfy right now um no nah, i think um, yeah i think we get rid of the comfy because otherwise we're wasting because it can just yeah and we go for the max phantasm why don't we go max strike Max Strike, just to mitigate the speed boost that I think they're going to go for. Yeah, we'll go for that. And the combination should be enough to get comfy. Okay. So, I think initially we'll see Draining Kiss into Dragonite. And if not, if my opponent's trying to be cute and trying to get a Trick Room up here to kind of get a speed advantage, then at least we're targeting the, the Pokemon that's potentially setting the speed control. Yeah, that's exactly what they're going for here. That is exactly what they're doing. So, yeah, the Volt Switch, this should do enough. Oh, yeah, that's that's more more than enough Regieleki doing its, doing its thing. Uh, and we'll get Incineroar in now. And, yeah, this is fine. <coughs> of course, it's in a focus, which is interesting. Because I think that on the usage stats, 
that you're more often than not seeing multi-scale used um just to kind of uh well the thing is you're taking less damage from the draining kish initially and you've also got access to floral healing so you can actually get your multi-scale uh back which is which is i think probably the better ability although in this situation the inner folk has proven very useful okay so he trying to make its way into the field that's fine Now I think it make it doesn't make a lot of sense for us to go. Uh, it's not multi scale, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Um, I think we fake out Heatran. I don't think Heatran's going to max. I think it's going to be the Dragonite, and I think we'll go for the max. We could max Quake into Heatran as well. Um, because that would remove it from the field, and then get maybe Regieleki back on the field. We could. Uh, do we get Regieleki back onto the field? Nah, 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 nah. We keep Regieleki. Let's just go for an Assurance into Draggy and just get some damage onto it. And let's go for a Max Quake into Heatran. And then that would potentially put us onto plus two. We are in plus one now. And if that Heatran does max, which I don't know, it might be the Heatran. Yeah, it is the Heatran got weakness policy we just got to hope that we can pick up the knockout here just got to hope thick boy heatran coming out can it take a max quake plus one can it has it got that shucker it has it's going to be able to tank this at least it's on a weakness policy hopefully spectra can stick around this turn whoa that does so much damage but the nice thing is as well you know like Oh no, like the Heatran sticks around. We get the special defense boost. We've got the Assault Vest on uh, Incineroar. It might have been better to go for the uh, Assurance into the Heatran slot. We do see a Max Quake come back out from the Heatran. And is into Incineroar, but doing very little, very little damage. So we're, we're all right. We're all right. We've got one more turn of our Max with Spectre. The Heatran's pressured this next turn. It's probably going to have to protect. We get the Insurance assurance off into the draggy uh, it's definitely in range to get taken down this next turn uh, and the waterfall coming out which is an interesting one and oof, just about nearly takes nearly takes a little, little bit incinero down um okay i think what we'll do is we'll just go for the assurance here into hmm. actually what we're going to do is we're going to go for close combat into heatran i think the heatran's going to protect and we're going to go for the fanta do we go just go for a max strike? Lower the speed of Heatran. Make sure, that, and if it doesn't protect, then Incineroar just picks it up with the close combat. Let's go for that. Yeah, let's do that. And the battle cancelled. Cancelled just like that, friends, because we've got ourselves into such a dominant position because this team is literally that good. So here is the rental and a massive shout out once again to Van der Heiden uh, and massive congratulations for that win in the, the Hexa Cup. What an incredible achievement and what a fantastic team as well. So thank you so much for sharing it with the community. It's such a nice thing to do straight away after a tournament win like that. Um, and it's just a pleasure to be able to feature on the team. As I've mentioned, Van der Heiden's uh, all his social stuff will be down below as well as the rental code and um, any other details that I can dig up for you friends. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. We've got a lot planned for this week on the channel. We've got a lot of new and very fancy teams that will be coming on later this week. So do keep an eye out for them. And uh, thank you so much for everyone's requests that we've had already in last week and stuff like that. Don't worry if you don't see them initially. I've got a list of them all and we will be featuring them at some point as soon as I can get them put together and we can get them onto the channel. So thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, leave a like and drop a sub if you've enjoyed the episode and you want to see more of this content. I keep forgetting to say that, but I guess if you enjoy it, you're going to sub and you're going to like anyway. So I don't feel like I need to shove it down your throats like everyone else does. <laughs> anyway, have a good one, friends. I'll see you all for our next one. Bye bye.